All around the world, there are shortages of important products like masks, gowns, and hand sanitizer because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The fashion industry was one of the first to step up and offer its resources to help fight these shortages. From Chanel to Canada Goose, here's how some of your favorite brands are helping. LVMH has been manufacturing and distributing free hand sanitizer in France, using the factories it normally uses to produce perfume and cosmetics. LVMH also ordered 40 million surgical masks from a Chinese supplier to combat the mask shortage. It financed the first delivery of 10 million masks to be distributed to the French Health Service. The company said the French government would be funding the rest of the deliveries. Christian Siriano was one of the first designers to publicly volunteer to help make masks for healthcare workers in New York. Since tweeting with Governor Andrew Cuomo on March 20th, Siriano and his design team have produced and delivered over 5,000 masks. Canada Goose reopened two factories in Toronto and Winnipeg to make hospital scrubs and gowns. The company will be donating the PPE to hospital workers in Canada. CEO Danny Rice has also said that he'll be donating his salary for the next three months to a fund for employees impacted by store and factory closures. Over in Maine, L.L. Bean says it's shifted from making products like boots to 10,000 masks a day using fabric from its dog bed liners. According to the company, it's working with MIT and other labs to see if its masks can be used as medical masks since they're liquid resistant and washable. L.L. Bean also says it's helped get more than 1 million masks to local hospitals by using its global supply chain. And to combat food insecurity, the company's fulfillment center employees are now working with Feeding America to pack 80,000 food boxes. Ralph Lauren says it's producing 250,000 masks and 25,000 gowns in the U.S. The Ralph Lauren Corporate Foundation also committed a $10 million donation towards COVID-19 relief. Prada announced that it was producing 80,000 medical overalls and 110,000 masks at its factory in Montone, Italy. Production began in March with plans for daily deliveries to hospitals in Tuscany through early April. Prada also donated six intensive medical care units to hospitals in Milan. Haynes Brand shared in an Instagram post that it would be converting its production facilities to make FDA-approved cotton masks. The company says that it's looking to increase production to 1.5 million masks a week, then up to 5 to 6 million masks a week. Chanel says that it's working with partners and volunteers from its workshops to make protective masks and gowns. Chanel also pledged to provide its workers in France with eight weeks of salary. And to help the French government, the company donated 1.2 million euros to an emergency fund for Paris's public hospital system and French emergency services, as well as 50,000 face masks. Luxury conglomerate Caring Group is helping combat face mask shortages in France and Italy. According to Caring, its labels Yves Saint Laurent and Balenciaga will be producing face masks at their French workshops. And over in Italy, Gucci will be making and donating 1.1 million masks and 55,000 overalls. Neiman Marcus teamed up with Joann's stores to produce PPE for frontline healthcare workers. Joann's is providing Neiman Marcus alteration facilities with fabric to make masks, gowns, and scrubs. The fabric masks they're making are meant to be worn over N95 masks as an extra layer of protection. Armani announced that it would be converting all four of its Italian production sites to make single-use medical overalls for healthcare workers. Italy has been the worst hit European country during the pandemic and Armani's efforts will help protect the country's healthcare workers who have been in danger with a lack of PPE. The Armani Group also donated 2 million euros to Italy's civil protection and different hospitals around the country.